Welcome back to another action-packed episode of Comic Confidential, the weekly podcast where we bring you the world's hottest comic book movie news. I'm your host, Cade, and alongside, I guess across the table from me this week is uh, Troy Spinner. What's going on, man? Not much. Actually, I lied. This week's been a massive, extremely huge week for us. It has been an incredible week. Uh, it, <laughs> it's been kind of non-stop, really, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I guess we're kind of on our Infinity War press run. <laughs> <laughs> Marvel's ch- came through, so we're doing our press run for them. Yeah, that's right. So we're just basically going around the state. We're doing live shows. We're going to Supernova Expos. We're doing this, that, and the other, and we're just trying to let you just promote the good word of Infinity War. Uh, we'll be on the radio on Monday and whatnot. It's all happening. It's all happening, goddammit. Yeah. So, what do we do? It's just a train, mate. It doesn't stop until it reaches its final destination. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and it might actually, it feels like at times it's going to be like the movie Final Destination, where just at some point, like a big log is going to fly out of you nowhere know, and just like hit I, me in the face. Anytime I think of Final Destination, that's all I really think of is that that log scene of the, the, the truck that's hauling all those uh, chopped down trees. And yeah, it's just yeah. like, I don't feel safe behind any logging vehicles anymore. Well, we were driving because uh, we were driving to the Gold Coast today. And um, yeah, we were behind like it was just a little ute and it had some ply board in the back. And I'm like, I can't stay here. I cannot stay behind this goddamn car because it felt like those things were just going to fly out and Final Destination me. You know what? You're more worried about that. I was looking at the like the fuel tanker that was driving just maybe 20 meters to the side of us. See, you just can't. You, you just never. You're never safe. You're never safe. You're never safe from the Final Destinations. What can you say? Don't travel anywhere. <laughs> just, just stay at home, kids. Stay at home on your couch. It's the safest place you can be. Uh, yeah, so look, if if we do sound a little bit weird, um, please bear with us because we are currently recording from a hotel room on the Gold Coast. And look, this is not the first time we've actually done this. We did this probably mm, five months ago. Some time ago. Yeah, something like that. Yep. So um, get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, we will always, you know, as as best we can, try to make the uh, the sound as good as we possibly can for you guys. Absolutely. Without building some sort of weird, like mattressy blanket fort or we something. We are like not that. about that. We're not about that life. And we hope you guys aren't about that life either. Uh, but thanks for joining us again this week. Um, what did we do this week? So we finally saw Infinity War. We did. And that's not what we're going to talk about this week. Eh, had you fooled. Uh, we well, technically, technically we're going to do like our, our instant reaction. So but this is something that we've probably never done before with yep. a movie. But this is a movie that's been 10 years in the making, Troy. True. So it kind of warranted those those first thoughts that yeah you get after you see a movie like this. So that is going to be a little bit. It's actually going to be very spoiler. Yeah, filled. it's it, we literally recorded it in the uh, the Smithfield Event Cinemas spoiler zone. Uh, <laughs> so there will be uh, just check the timestamps for that one because if you haven't seen the movie yet, please do not listen to that part of the the, the show. Uh, if you have seen it, by all means, go for it because we do uh, we do get into it a little bit. Uh, we've got a couple of people that uh, that were there with us as well um, that jumped in and, and had to chat about the movie as well. So yeah, absolutely. Good. We had two like basically lifetime Patreon supporters in Shane Gibson, big supporter of the show, and and our good friend Garrett joined us for a great chat. Yeah, it was good, uh, and uh, obviously Amy was there as well, as you'll see with the main segment coming up later. Uh, now that was uh, recorded live. Yes, it was in front of a in front of a live studio audience, a very large audience, may I say? Uh, at times, yes, <laughs> there was quite a lot of people. Uh, we were lucky enough to um, to be able to uh, host our first live show at Event Cinemas in Smithfield, which is a brand new complex, hasn't been around for too long, and it is stellar. It's very good, very very good. Um, so I just want to say a very quick thank you to Rachel and the team at uh, Smithfield Event Cinemas for allowing us to do that. Uh, and for helping us, they gave us a great spot. They gave us a PA system, everything we needed. The show was live. We live streamed it. Things happened. Stuff and junk. You'll hear it later. And uh, no, no swear words. Yeah, that was hard, man. Yeah. I, I, I <laughs> do you want to do you want to let the people know the joke that you wanted to make that you couldn't make on the live show? It's going to be completely out of context, but I'm going to put you on the spot because you you seemed very proud of it. Well, it's more that um, I've never been in this situation before in my life. And there was a situation, and you know, when you listen to the to the to the live trivia thing later, you will hear that there there's a question that's about Spider-Man: Homecoming, right? 
And after that Spider-Man Homecoming question is is answered, I was going to give the guys bonus points for if they could tell me the nickname that Flash Thompson had given Peter Parker throughout the movie. So Penis Parker, obviously. Now, as I was thinking this in my head, as I was literally saying the words, I looked a child dead in the eyes. <laughs> Just a little kid. Just a little kid. Just a little Holding child. a teddy. Yeah, was, holding uh, some popcorn. I'm pretty sure it was dressed as Captain America too. Oh, wow. Just looking so, so noble. Uh, and I just looked it dead in the eyes and I'm like, you can't say penis, dude. You cannot say penis. What are you going to do? So I had to like just, you know, I had to use my live skills and I had to like, you know, quickly flip it on the spot. Uh, you'll notice a very big pause. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nailed it. I think you did a great job with the live stream. It was um, it was good fun all around. I think the the audience had a good time. Amy and I had a good time, and I hope you, as the uh, I guess the the game show host, had a good time. I did have a good time, uh, and I hope the the listeners have a good time listening to it because uh, yeah, it was a hell of a lot of fun. And not only that, Troy, we also did our official top five Marvel movies. Oh, we did. We've been talking about our top five for I think as long as the show has run, and it's kind of been this urban urban myth of like what is the top five for the boys. Yeah, you're gonna find out this episode. You're gonna find out. Now, um, I would like to say, just before we go into it... Are you redacting already? Oh, I'm not redacting. It's He's just redacting. More that, no, it's, I'm not redacting. It's just, this is a kind of list for me, because there's 18, 19 movies now. 19 pretty much from top to bottom incredible movies, right? Um, hard to fault. So this is kind of a, it's a countdown that could change... On any given day, I feel. It depends how you feel. Like yeah. you're feeling more hulky, you're feeling more Iron Man y, you yeah. feel them more am I feel, America. Well, I feel like it's more am I feeling more phase one? Yeah, right. Am I feeling more phase two, phase three, that sort of thing. So it really depends on on where I'm kind of at in my in my mind, in my life. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's the that's the biggest thing for me. So yeah. That's, that's where I'm at. That's fair. And you know what? We've actually... Well, we didn't start this, but our, our fabulous listeners started this, um, I guess, uh, uh, their own little group chat yeah. of um, Infinity War spoilers. And I guess the consensus is Phase 3 is everyone's favorite from the looks of it. Yeah. And I think a lot of that has to do with um, the fact that it was an Infinity War spoiler. Absolutely. Um, and, you know... Not to you know no no precursor to the to the review the full review that we'll do next week but um, you know it is it is a lot of people's favorite or quite you know it's quite high up there already um, in their MC movie MCU movie sort of top ten list so it'll be interesting to see what everyone's opinion is by the time our review comes out because I feel like a lot of people in that group have got that recency factor going on oh definitely I mean. You know, for the most part, I mean, even us, like with our instant reactions, I mean, they could change. Absolutely. Because they were, they were dead set instant reactions. And I, I have no doubt that some of those, our reactions are going to change once we've kind of had a bit of a moment to take in what's happened in that movie. And, you know. I blacked really, out. Yeah. I, the, oh, God. I, I woke <laughs> up and it was a week later. Yeah. I don't even remember what I said. I was just, I just completely blacked out. So, you know, it could just be noises for all I know. Could be. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah, so that's what's coming up for this episode. We've got the live show um, and we've got the instant reactions for you. So it might seem a little bit weird. It's all going to be all over the place. We're in a hotel, but then we like go back in time to event cinemas. We get our time stone out. We do. We, we do. We get our time stone out uh, and we just get into it. Welcome everybody to a very special edition of Comic Confidential where we are live at Event Cinemas in Smithfield for the premiere of the biggest, the baddest, some might say the sexiest comic book movie ever to hit the big screen, Avengers Infinity War. To celebrate, we've gotten ourselves some mics, some comfy chairs, and there's even some genuine human people out there in the audience as well, and we're going to play some MCU trivia. So I have both to my right, weirdly. Uh, I have the ghost of podcast past. I have Amy. Hello, everyone. And I have the uh, wrecking ball shaped human, <laughs> Cade. Hey, how you doing, mate? I am very good. And myself, Troy, as your humble quiz master for tonight. Now, what we're going to do, here's how it's going to work. We're going to have phase one first, right? And phase one is going to be 10 MCU themed questions worth 10 points each, right? Then we're going to move into phase two, which has five harder questions 
worth 20 points each. But first, before we get there, I need you both to have a buzzer. Amy, what is your buzzer going to be? Um, Captain America. Oh, that's cool. a hard one. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a super cool one, dude. Uh, he said <laughs> his was Tony Stark. Uh, mine's going to be Tony Stank. Tony Stank. Stank. Yeah. I like it. All right. One point for Cade for originality. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> let's kick off some questions, and they're going to start from – they're going to be easy. Okay. Uh, but they're also going to be hard. But there's going to be some that are medium, but some that are very hard. Does that make sense? No, but let's go. <laughs> All right, so the very first question, question number one, is worth 10 points. Remember, what is Captain America's shield made of? Captain nice. America. Oh, shit. I forgot the rules. <laughs> you got to wait until the question is finished, Amy, and then you can jump in. But I'll let you. I'll let Vibranium. you. Vibranium. Vibranium. Very good. <laughs> 10 points to Amy. Oh, can that be five? Lead. She's already cheated, and it's the first question of the game. <laughs> Seven and a half points <laughs> to Amy. All right. All right. So, question number two. What year did the MCU officially kick off with Iron Man? Tony Stank. Oh, that was Tony Stank. Uh, 2008. He's right. Ooh, Ten yeah. points to Cade or you Gryffindor. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you five bonus points if you can tell me the other movie that came out in 2008. Any other movie? No, the other <laughs> MCU. <laughs> <laughs> the other MCU movie that came out in 2008. Tony Stank. What do you got? Uh, the Incredible Hulk. Oh, he's got five points. Oh, Amy. It's a mutiny. You're, Amy, you're under the pump. 16 to 7.5. Hey, how come I got 7.5? Well, because you lost a point for cheating. For, oh, okay. Know, yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> moving on. What is the name of the Rainbow Bridge that connects Midgard to Asgard? Captain America. What is it? The Bifrost. Oh, she's good. She's on fire, you guys. What is the name of Jeff Goldblum's character in 2017's Thor Ragnarok? Go. Tony Stank. What? The Grandmaster. Oh, he's right. I would have also accepted Jeff Goldblum playing Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> I think that's, that's more right. That's going to be my answer. All right, ready? Yes. We're up to question something. I don't know what that is. It's six or something. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, what color is the reality stone? Captain America. What is it? Red. She's right. Yes. Ten points to Gryffindor. <laughs> Can uh, she get a bonus point if she also guesses what the other name for it is? Yeah, uh, well, if you, I'll give you five bonus points if you can tell me where the reality stone is. With what, where, where it's kept. C now? Contained within. Oh, like not it who it's with? It starts with an A. I don't know the answer. Uh, anyone? Ether. You guys are a disappointment. I thought that started with E. I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's A-E-T-H-E-R. Give me a break. Uh, all right, so who is the leader of Wakanda's Dora Milaje? Tony Stank. What do you got? Michonne from The Walking Dead. That's five points. <laughs> so right I'll there. take it. I'll take it. I'll give you five points for Michonne from The Walking Dead. Uh, five points if someone can actually tell me her name in the movie. Does it start with O? It does. Oh, I can't, I can't say. I know the name. Well, She's uh, badass. Say it. Originally from The Walking Dead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oeo Lele. See, I was really close. No, that's not even close. Damn it. It's a Koye. Oh. Uh, so that's negative three <laughs> points. Uh, I know it started with O. He said, <laughs> he said Michonne from The Walking Dead. That's all, I, I, I literally have it in my answers that I will accept Michonne from The Walking Dead. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, okay, here we go. Which fictional character did Peter Quill compare Yondu to in 2017's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Tony Stank. Oh, I thought you were saying go. Damn. Yeah, I'm saying go. Go. <laughs> Captain America. <laughs> yes, what do you got? Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins is correct. I would have also accepted I'm Mary Poppins y'all. Uh, so that's good. <laughs> what is the name of Captain America's team of World War I soldiers in 2011's The First Avengers? Go. Captain Tony America. Oh, Ooh. she beat you. Oh, Howling is... Oh, I can't remember. Commandos? Howling... Put it together. Howling Commandos. Correct. Oh. Yes. Ten points. You, uh, you are smashing me here. Let's just do a quick... Uh, quick 
quick score check. It is Cade on 36. On zero. And Amy on, oh, that's a negative, uh, 34.5. Oh, it's so close. 44.5. 44.5. All right, moving on to the next question. What is the name? I'll just accept the first name, if you'd like. What is the first name of Peter Parker's best friend and man in the chair in 2017's Spider-Man Homecoming? Go. I can see him in my head. I don't know his name. <laughs> Anyone? No. No. Any points? It's Ned. Ned. And Ned is very disappointed with all of you. Uh, I will give you five bonus points if you can tell me the name of the actress who, spoiler alert for Spider-Man Homecoming if you haven't seen it, turns out to be playing MJ. Go. Captain America. Yes. Zendaya. All right, five points. Did I say five points? Yeah. Ten. You said ten. <laughs> They're trying to cheat me out of points. All right. Now, this is a, this is a multiple choice question. This is actually... This is the final question for phase one. All right? Okay. Final question for phase one, and it's multiple choice. All right? So which of these words is not, I repeat, not a trigger word for the winter soldier? Oh. <laughs> All right? Homecoming, freight car, 12, or 17? Go. Tony Sank. I said go. Tony Sank. What? Freight car. Incorrect. Oh. Amy, you got to steal. Captain America. What were the two numbers you said? <laughs> 12 and 17. 12. Correct. Yes! That's worth 10 points. Uh, I would have also accepted plums. Uh, Stucky, uh, you have a metal arm. That's awesome, dude. They're all not trigger words <laughs> for the Winter Soldier. So doing a quick score check uh, at the end of phase one, Kate is on 36 points. Amy is on a massive... Thousand points. <laughs> fifty something points. I'm gonna make it fifty two <laughs> points because I don't have a calculator handy. <laughs> so it is currently fifty two points to Amy and thirty six points to Cade. Well done. That's phase one done. We're gonna move into phase two and let me tell you a little bit about phase two, right? Okay. As I said at the top of the uh, the top of the show, each question is worth twenty points, right? But the questions are going to be quite a bit harder. Right, so we'll see how we go because you guys have pretty well disappointed me in my easy <laughs> question section. Uh, not even, un like, Ned, I come honestly on. feel it's like Ned. you've got these the wrong way around. No, Those look, you wait. genuinely difficult <laughs> questions. <laughs> they were hard. You wait until, until uh, phase two, which we're going to do now. We're going to go straight into phase two. Question one, for the value of 20 points, name the director who stepped aside from directing 2015's Ant-Man before Peyton Reed stepped in to finish the job. Go. Tony Sank. Edgar Wright. Oh, oh. I knew his name was Edgar. I couldn't think of his last name. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? That's 20 points. And you're in the lead. Oh, my God. It's 56 to 52, you guys. It's a neck and neck race. Are you excited? I'm so excited. All right. I I'm going to beat Amy. This is my time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Name the three actors and the major villains they portray from the three Avengers movies, including Avengers Infinity War, which we haven't seen yet, obviously, but we're going to see later. So actors and the villains they portray. Go. The first one... We're going to collaborate on yeah. this. <laughs> we're going to split right, the points. Okay, okay. If, if the two of you can put your heads together and come up with what I think is the easiest question of my five. <laughs> casting questions are super difficult. You're the casting man. Yeah. All right, just all I'm asking. I can see them in my head. Can I, can, I draw I you a picture? barely <laughs> name the characters who are in those I movies. Will, <laughs> I will give you 50 points if you can draw me them. <laughs> the guy from the first one. Yes, he's quite a, well known. Yeah, but I don't know names. Okay, oh. first one is Tom Middleton as Loki. It's who? <laughs> Who did you say? Tom Middleton as Loki is number one. Tom Middleton. Tom, what, I, Middleton. I think that's his cousin. 
No. It's it's Mr. <laughs> Mr. Middleson is the first one. <laughs> it's Tom Hiddleston. Yes, correct. Oh, and I thought we were talking about like the bigger villains. No, the major villain. Okay. Uh, Josh Brolin is Thanos. Yeah, okay. And, and who's Ultron? Hey, <laughs> I'll give you a sticker. <laughs> the crowd Bona is getting restless. Phone a friend. All right, okay, here's a hint. Miss, Mr. Spade. <laughs> His name is like a type of shovel. Spade. <laughs> with an R on the end. Spader. Yeah. David Spader. And his first name. <laughs> You guys are an absolute letdown. It is James Spader. Look, we're pretty close. Two out of three is not bad. Ask Meatloaf. He will confirm that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. um, Negative 10 points to you. Uh, And you're okay. You're all right, kid. (laughs) I'll give you 10 points. (laughs) (laughs) I said 20 points. Swing. Yeah, I know. It's good. Uh, I have the ultimate power here. (laughs) It's a power trip. It's gone to his head. All right. Okay. Uh, question three: What MCU movie first introduced us to the Celestials? Go. Captain America. Yes. Guardians of the Galaxy. Which one? Or there was, or was there mention in the first one? I feel like the first one. She's correct, you guys. Yes. Well done. All right. Second to last wait, question. Wait, wait, wait. I'm what? sure there's a rebuttal in there. Okay. What's the rebuttal? I'm, I'm sure a greater power was mentioned in Thor: The Dark World. No, they didn't, they didn't mention the Celestials themselves, though. Did they allude to them? They might have alluded. But we'll allu- split the points. We'll split the points. Oh, you guys are... <laughs> you guys are killing my, my point system. <laughs> Amy gets 10 points. Cade gets 6.25. He is making this way more difficult <laughs> for himself. It looks like a grade two school book over there. Um, all right. Multiple choice. These are easy. Right? Are they? <laughs> In the MCU, who is Loki's birth father? Uh. Okay. Odin, Jotun, Lorfi, or Burglemore? Whatever and one I is the Frost didn't giant. make up any of those names, I swear. Tony Stank. What do you got? Uh, the second one. <laughs> it sounds very Frost Giant-y. Uh, that is incorrect. The Although technically correct because I think it's the Norse word, Norse word for Frost, frost Giant. But it's not the dad's name. It's not the name of the dad. What do you got? Number four. Burglemer? <laughs> yeah. Incorrect. <laughs> you guys literally had a 25% chance of getting it right Number and you eight. stuffed it. Oh, it's, no, that was Odin. It's literally the only one you haven't see, said. It's Lorfi. Okay. That's, uh, ooh, that's minus 15 points for Amy. And 10 points for Cade because I've been pretty hard on him so far. Yeah, thank you. All right. I was half right on that, I feel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it was Frost Giant. The last question for phase two before I have to sit here and somehow try to work <laughs> out my score. Uh, can you name Mordo's magical boots from 2017's Doctor Strange? No. Is I'll, that the I'll answer? I'll give you a hint. They're not T boots, they're not Timberlands. They're not Yeezys. They're not Yeezys. Are they stilettos? They're, that's not a boot, Amy, you should know. Um, they have stiletto boots, sir. <laughs> that's five that, points no. off Troy right there, <laughs> yeah. not knowing that. All right, I lose ten points. <laughs> Can you tell me the name of Mordo's magical boots from Doctor Strange? No. I don't think anyone can Does name anyone them, Troy. Know? Is there literally anybody in this place that can tell me the name of Mordo's boots? I knew it was a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the vaulting... Don't you mean Mordor? No, Mordo. I like Mordo. The vaulting boots of Valtor, you guys. Oh, I'm disappointed so in close. every single one of you. <laughs> uh, all right, okay. I'll, okay, how about this? 20 points if you can at least tell me the name of the orb around Doctor Strange's neck. Go. Sorry, the what? The orb. Oh, the, the eye... Uh, Tony Stank, the yes. eye of Ogamoto. Oh, your pronunciation is terrible. Thrown to Amy. I was going to say the same word. <laughs> <laughs> the Inc- eye of... Incorrect. That is not incorrect. It is Agamoto. Oh. It's with an A, you not guys. Not locomotive, then. <laughs> Samara, tomato, whatever. It's all the same, mate. Uh, okay, so that is... Um, 
Wow. He, he did say 20 points. He did. You did not get it right. I got it right. You didn't even I get said I. I get five points. Five <laughs> points. Yeah. You get five points for saying the I. <laughs> yeah. You she get literally. You get five points. No, I'll <laughs> give. I'll give you five points for saying. Ogamodo. Ogamodo. Right. <laughs> uh, five points for Ogamodo. Uh, but yeah, you're both terribly wrong. I feel like the crowd would agree with me that I'm right on that one. Show of hands. Anyone? Oh. All right. That's, fine. That's twenty right there in my pocket. That's. Ten points each for you guys. You guys are probably as much of a chance to win this thing <laughs> than these two. Uh, <laughs> this second round's killing. All right, now I just have to do some quick math. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that cancels that out. Carry two, the two. Carry two, the two. two. Carry the uh, to the power of um, to the power of Grayskull. Amy, you got eleven points that round. Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, okay, Cade, you got a massive that cancels that out. Twenty six, thirty one point two five points. Oh, so I mean, I didn't even care. Magically, with the magic of mathematics, the greatest magic of all. <laughs> the greatest <laughs> magic of all. It is sixty seven to sixty seven. Oh, You're stop joking. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, but just for the sake of suspense, we'll uh, we'll pretend that it is. Bonus round. Bonus round. Okay, here we go. So the bonus round, right? Here's how I want to play it. I want you to name, in order, the movies of each phase, <laughs> beginning with phase one. Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by the way, just to just to let me clarify, uh, you have to name them all. Hulk. Okay. So. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Captain America, wind. No, the first Avenger. Correct. She's wrong. It's not in well, order. Well, it's not in order. Okay, don't even give it to me in order. Then I'm just you're think obviously going to screw it up. Well, then maybe if I write them down, I'll have a 50-50 chance of putting them in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got three. That's good. How many are there in the first? Let's say five. I'm pretty sure there's five. <laughs> well, I know that no, there's... No, there's six. There's 18 all up, isn't there? Yeah. There's definitely six. I don't know how that helped you in the first part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I know trying to know how far I've got to go. You're going to work backwards. Do you Iron guys Man, <laughs> Hulk, Captain America. Yep. Avengers. Correct. Iron Man 2. Oh, my God. There's one more. God. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know the last one. <laughs> oh my god of thunder. It's four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's four! <Thor! laughs> wow. Uh, that I'll, let, I'll let Amy steal the win if she can put them in order, though. Iron Man, Hulk. Iron Man 2. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep, Iron Man 2. <laughs> Captain America. No, actually, you're wrong. Oh, Iron I Man, give up. Hulk, Thor, Iron Man 2. Does anyone know? No. Who's right? Thor's at after Iron Man 2. Uh, Iron Man 2, yeah, after correct. After credit scene. Yeah, after credit scene. Thor, then the rest of them. Yeah. Let's move into phase two. Cade, can you do phase two? Mm. <laughs> yeah, good luck. I'll give you a hint. Okay, okay. It starts with Iron Man yeah. 3. Uh, Iron Man 3, everyone's favourite Iron Man movie. It's <laughs> definitely the best of it's the Iron Man It's definitely the movie. best. Um, Avengers Age of Ultron. Thor the Dark World, uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Yes. You're missing like two. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, one more. And Ant-Man. Yes, he's done it. Oh, you got claps. Yes. Well done. <laughs> uh, 50 points for that one, by the way. Did 50, I get 50 points. You got nothing. Oh. <laughs> I was 98% <laughs> of the way there. Uh, okay, but the okay, we're into phase three now, so I will let you go for phase three first. But as soon as you stuff it, I'm moving on to Cade. Are we putting it in order? Uh, let's put it in order because it's the, it's the most recent one, so you should be able to do it. If you can't do it, uh, why do we what have this podcast? What did we finish on? What was the last movie in phase two? I will tell you what it starts with. Okay. Okay. It starts with Captain America, Civil War. Okay. Captain America, Civil War. <laughs> She's good. She's, She's good, you it. guys. She's got it. <laughs> Thanos. Uh, 
then what happened? <laughs> Is there a timer? <laughs> Doctor Strange? No. Yes. No, it's not second, though. Look. I think it is. I, is it? I don't proclaim to have all the answers here. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't going to do it in order. Thor, Just Ragnarok. Correct. Doctor Strange, that Avengers, Infinity War is in there. Well, well, yeah, we'll, well, yeah, we'll classify well, it. It's there. Black it's out. Panther. That's true. What have I said? That's a <laughs> Thor. How many have we got? What am I missing? There's one more. There's one more. Uh, this is my downfall every time. It's what the story of a, a teenage, a oh, teenage boy. Oh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Phase three done. 50 points each. Uh, I'm all out of tiebreakers, you guys. You both win. Winners. You're both winners. Lovely. Congratulations. Good work, team. Now that we went through that way quicker than I thought we would. <laughs> we were just too good. What I thought we might do is, um, uh, so we've spoken about this a lot on the podcast before, right? Uh, we're always talking about pretty much ever since, what was the first movie? It was uh, Civil War, I think, was the, the first uh, MCU movie that we actually reviewed for the podcast. I think so. And ever since then, we've been kind of uh, creating this magical top five list of MCU movies, right? Mm -hmm. And we've got 18 of them now, right? So why don't you both give me your individual top five MCU movies from five down to one. I want to know what the best is. All right, what's your number five there, Amy? My number five is Iron Man. Okay, the one that started it all. Yep. And what's OG. the reasoning behind that? Because it started it all. Just started it all? Yeah. It's, good. it's a so good it, fun movie. It's, a, it's at number five because it's not the best, but it, it started everything. So number five for me. Nice. What about you? Yeah, that's a good question. I'll field that one. Um, <laughs> Number five, that might have to... It's it's a tie break between Spider-Man Homecoming... No tie breaks. And, okay, Spider-Man Homecoming. Get off the fence, mate. If I'm off the fence of Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming is your, is your number five. Yeah, what why about is that? yourself? Why is that? Oh, it's, it's a good rendition of Spider-Man. Yeah. I mean, it's the, the third, I guess, reboot that we got of the, the character, and it's the first one that actually put a character in there that was about the right age, not 30 to 40 years old. Not 40-year-old <laughs> Tobey Maguire? Yeah, no. that's right. Yeah. Uh, my number five, if if you know, if I'm going, yeah, yep. am, I, am I ready? Yeah. Uh, my number five is going to be the original Avengers. Oh. Criminally low. Yeah, Maybe. That's very low. Maybe. But uh, yeah, look, I liked it. I love it. It's you know, there's 18 movies all together. But for me, it's my number five, uh, and it was one at that particular point in time. It was one of the biggest things ever to happen. This is going to knock it out the park. Um, so yeah, it's number five for me. Fours. Um, I'm going to go with Black Panther for my number four. Ooh, Ooh recency mm. factor. Is that too? Is it too new to be up in that top I five? I think so. I've only seen it once. All of the others that are on my list, I've seen more than once. So right. I think, but that's good. I mean, I've only seen it once and it's made it in. So nice. Yeah, number four. Your number four. Uh, it's going to be Captain America: Winter Soldier. That is criminally high. <laughs> criminally high. Yes. Or I'm low. What's the what's the bad one? Low. Low. It should be higher. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I thought you were saying it was terrible. No, you know what I mean. Yeah. You guys know. Hey, look, th this was a pretty good movie. I mean, it kind of synced up with the Agents of Shield TV show that um, I guess was airing at the time, and um, you know, kind of expand that universe to be just that little bit bigger. I know we're not doing points anymore, but Cade loses. <laughs> 40 points <laughs> for having the Winter Soldier so goddamn high or low. Whatever, whatever it is. The whatever the bad is. one is. Uh, my number four is uh, going to be Iron Man. I'm with you, Amy. Same reasons. Yep. Back to your number threes. Um, number three, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's you, low or high I, as well. Are you feeling okay? I am feeling okay. I feel like you're just like saying you know the first you know movies what? that come to no, mind. I'm not. <laughs> Do you know what I think it is? Is I like I've Blade. <laughs> uh, no. It's because I've seen it so many times, I think, is my issue now. Right. That I've, I like, was thinking about this earlier and I said, oh, I'm going to put it at number three because I know everything that happens in it. When I watch other movies now, I get surprised again. So oh, that's nice. Number three. Okay. You can't take it away from me. Well, no, that's, that's just that's, what it is. That's just your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it might be wrong. But that's your opinion. <laughs> uh, Cade, what's your number three? Uh, my number three is going to be the first Avengers movie. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. 
Uh, quite amazing. First team up movie that we really saw. Can't really, can't really fault it. No. Yeah, Hawkeye. Well, yeah. just in general, okay, Hawkeye. Yeah. <laughs> Off him. Uh, what are we up to? Number three? Yeah, number three. What's number your number three, three there, Troy? Oh, check this out. Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh. That's very high. It is very high. I may have, like, mixed it up. <laughs> <laughs> and you but, had to go at me for me. But for now, I'm going with Spider-Man Homecoming, number three. And you uh, need to explain yourself why it's at number three. Uh, look, it's just... I, I think for, for, for us to have had so many Spider-Man movies over the last... You know, ten years or whatever it's been, mm. uh, for for them to manage to come out with uh, a movie that was as fresh as it was, um, with you know Tom Holland as Peter Parker, absolutely knocking it out the park. Mm. Um, Ned was great, who you guys don't even know. Yeah, so, I know who so that's pretty. So that's pretty disappointing for uh, all the Ned fans out there. Ned fans. Yep, uh, it's just me. A total right. zero. <laughs> uh, there's another one. We got two. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so it was just it was it was just a really really fresh take on something that we had seen a lot of, but they still managed to to do it really well. So that that's me. It really was a good rendition of Iron Man eighteen. <laughs> Iron Boy. Yeah, Iron yeah. Boy. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, number twos. Number two. Watch number twos. <laughs> Don't be a child, Amy. It's just a you number. You said it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with um, the first Avengers. Actually, no, that was my number one, but we'll be number two now. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm glad they mean so much to you yeah. that you can just throw them around <laughs> like that. I did have a rule that I was trying to not have more than one of the same thing yep. in the list, if that makes sense. Now it's all mudd- muddled up in my head. So we'll go. We'll run with it. <laughs> <laughs> the first so, Avengers movie. So profesh, Amy. <laughs> so uh, who, profesh. Who's your favourite character from that movie, though? And why is it Hawkeye? It's... <laughs> It's definitely not Hawkeye. Though, oh, look, leave him alone. Leave Hawkeye alone. <laughs> uh, how many Amy's arrows st- does Hawkeye have in that movie? 40. A lot. More points than you got on the quiz. <laughs> oh, no. oh, damn. Oh, shots fired. Shade thrown. Uh, I guess because we don't really get to see behind the scenes of the movies, but what you don't get to see is the in-between parts of the battle where Hawkeye's running around <laughs> Just and picking, picking up arrows. every arrow. You know, as you know, as best he can. Well, then maybe I'm he really is the MVP. Well, maybe he is. Maybe. That's a lot of work. All right. So there you go. Uh, maybe okay. he will be my favourite. Sure. You've talked me into <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, what's your number two, man? Uh, number two for me is the original Iron Man, the one that kind of started everything. Nice. It's just, it's great. Like, for that movie to kind of kick off this franchise, and it, um, the history that it kind of had of it being almost the biggest mess of a movie for it to kind of succeed the way it did yep. is, is quite amazing. Oh, Cinema One is now seeding, you guys. That's our jam. <laughs> Quick, number ones. Uh, number ones. Oh, uh, no, you I got to do number my number twos. two. I'll quickly run out my number two. My number two is a Captain America, the Winter Soldier. How dare you? You don't even have it unless it's your next movie. No, you had it not. at number five or something. Criminal. Number two. It's easily the best thing except for the one that's number one. <laughs> it's the second best <laughs> by far. Uh, okay, number ones quickly. We'll wrap it up because we're um, going to jump in that line somewhere and get in and see Infinity War. Run through the masses. Um, Thor Ragnarok. Oh, my God. I, I knew you guys would love it. I'm turning your microphone off. That's it. <laughs> She's out. You're I make done. my list just I, to annoy you two. Do I get to spill water on this now or I something just so. in, out of rage? Uh, why? There's no reason other than I knew it would annoy the both of you. Oh, <laughs> you are a goddamn snake. A snake in so the grass. So that's why Captain America was my number one. But then I was ah, like, this will be a good thing you. to do. Wow. Trickster. I'm triggered. <laughs> I am triggered too. <laughs> uh, what's your number one? Uh, my number one is Guardians of the Galaxy, the original, the first one. Complete dark horse of what, I guess, the Marvel Cinematic Universe was going to be. Yeah. No one out there pretend like you knew who the Guardians of the Galaxy were. Yeah. Mm. This thing came out of nowhere and absolutely killed it at the box office. Real, real fun cast, real fun movie. Mm. Just a good time all around. I like the colours. Yeah, the colours were very bright. (laughs) (laughs) You you know what? You're right. I am right because the colours were fantastic. Uh, uh, Look, anyone who's listened to the show for any period of time will know that Guardians of the Galaxy is my consensus number one as well. And if you don't agree with me, your opinions are wrong and you feel free to fight Cade, we'll say, at (laughs) comicconpod.com. That's a website where you can go and fight Cade.
All right, we are here live in the Smithfield Event Cinema's spoiler zone uh, to give our instant reaction to Infinity War, which we have now seen. Uh, we have a couple of gentlemen with us as well. We have Shane. How are you? Uh, very good, Wonderful. Mate. And we also have uh, Garrett, uh, as we like to call him, our Garrett. B- our big friendly giant. <laughs> Hello, how are we? <laughs> we, we are good. Um, okay, so look. Uh, well, um, uh, uh, I told you it was just going to be like about fifteen minutes of me just going. <sighs> <sighs> so you don't have time to right. process anything yet. Except, I just want to say the one thing, my one issue that I have. Oh, we're going straight to issues. Yeah. Look, no, because oh. I'm getting, it, oh, okay. I'm getting it out of the way negative, now. Because negative this is, Nelly. This is the only thing I can process currently. Is that if. Peter had just fucking let them pull that glove off. Oh my god! Oh, don't, oh don't my even get god! Me so I hey. was so furious. I'm still furious. Sorry, so the kind of silence is just getting around my ears. Oh, right now. I said that? if Star Lord had just calmed his shit and let them pull. It's the, it's the power. Nah. It's the power of the P right there. Nah. It's the power of the P right there. Power, <laughs> of, the <P. laughs> power of the D. Yeah. Uh, look, it's love, isn't it? I uh, mean, no, that's what that's it is. bullshit. Yeah, I think that was fucking you've shit. Never known, you've never known Star-Lord and Gamora love. Yeah, he's not um, impractical or impulsive at all, is he? He's, yeah, he's, he's, Why didn't he just do a dance like he did the last yeah, time he got impractical? Oh, well, that's, that's exactly it. Like, look at that, that car, like, that... that Contrast. Like contrast between that character. Yes, because he just found out that the woman that he loved died. I understand right? yeah. it needed now, to make the movie, but I was just no, like, no, 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 no. But, but you're talking about as as Shane has already mentioned, you're talking about someone who is super impulsive, super like emotionally driven. Everything that he has basically done has been you know based on the you know the the kind of emotionality of losing his mother and all that sort of stuff. Is emotionality a word, Garrett? Yeah, it is now. Yes, it. in my professional opinion. <laughs> <laughs> That's but then I, I guess the other thing is, you know, Tony Stark was standing there, don't do it, don't do it. Wouldn't you just pick just him up and throw him? him? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, throw him away, blast him off. I feel look, like I feel like this is logical. Him off. You get him away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, look, that's just that was. It's been frustrating me since that happened in the movie. I've been sitting there stewing in my seat, <laughs> like what the fuck. Anyway. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Couldn't enjoy the rest of it. Just yeah, no, I did enjoy the, the rest of it. Stuff together. And look, be Star fine. Lord's a dick, and <laughs> it's like fuck this movie. <laughs> I, guess biggest, I guess the biggest thing is how long does it take Spider Man and Iron Man to pull off a fucking gauntlet? Uh, uh, I thought you were going to say yeah. to pull off a Titan. Yeah, yeah. Probably, um, <laughs> probably, probably a fairly long point. time. Well, I, I guess the the real question here well, is uh, did it on who, his own. who's bigger, Titan or Hulk? Uh, we don't know because Hulk conveniently didn't fucking show up, so. Which is uh, which is something that I noticed, I guess, from from all the um, uh, all the the trailers and whatnot. Yep. is the fact that the Hulk did not show up, and I wonder why they made that decision in the end to mm. kind of have him, you know, completely not show up in the final battle whatsoever. Yeah, look, it's pretty interesting because it, it's quite evident from what we see in that movie is that the the Hulk is having like a an anxiety about mm. facing Thanos yeah. again, and like it's an existential crisis right there. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get and, technical, please. And like. I don't know if the Hulk is like that developed as a as a character to have those kind of issues. No, but I think we kind of got a bit more of that in Thor Ragnarok uh, when we sort of started to see that you know the Hulk was slowly starting to grow in intelligence. We haven't seen really what's happened since then. Mm. We know that there's probably been more growth, and we know that um, uh, come the end of Thor Ragnarok, that Bruce Banner is a lot more in control than he used to be, um, and it's you know so I, I think it makes sense. Um, but I just, I guess I don't know the exact time frame from Thor Ragnarok to... to um, it looks like now. it's days, maybe. It is not days. It, I think it's days. Well, I mean, it, he's massacred an entire Well, they literally spoke about years after um, yeah. the events of Civil, Civil War. War. So you've got to expect that it's still, you know, it, it's quite some time along. Oh, but you've got to also, also, also remember that um, Thor Ragnarok is like two or three years after Civil War. Yeah, but Two is it? Years. Oh, good point. I'm thinking of Age of Ultron. Yeah, see, because mm. Thor Ragnarok, A, I don't think we really know when it was set. It was set around the events of Civil War. And B, it's on another fucking planet, and you and don't know how that time works. And, well, it's already been established School. that time is like a bit wishy-washy there anyway. Yeah, or what, the MCU timeline? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just in general. <laughs> that exists in the uh, the Sony universe? 
yeah, that timeline. Yeah. Could be like Interstellar, you know, like one day here is like seven years on Earth or something. Like Dog that. years. Never talk about Interstellar on this podcast. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Christopher Nolan's worst movie. movie. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey you. is a god. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. I'm, all right, I'm right. going to agree with Garrett on this. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Yeah, absolutely brilliant movie. Matthew McConaughey <laughs> for the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about that. Uh, so, uh, okay, I guess um, instant reactions will go around like uh, loved it. Well, I guess we have our own thing, hit, shit, or split. Uh, we may as well do that first, and then uh, I guess at some point it's going to open up a, a can of worms along yeah. the way. So we'll start with you, Shane, if you want to talk about hit, shit, or split, and give yeah. us a, a very quick summary as to why. Well, I'm definitely going to say hit. Um, I'm a DC fanboy, always have been, and the DC films I very much enjoy, but this one has definitely blown me away. There's no pulling punches. There was no, like, they're showing actually people dying. They're showing people getting, like, fighting properly and all that, whereas a lot of the other DC uh, Marvel movies have sort of felt like they were more for for kids sort of things. This one really is for the adults. Yeah, definitely. Cade, where do you fall? I'm gonna I'm gonna sit comfortably and split oh, on this for now. I fucking I knew you were gonna take this ever since like Thor Ragnarok and like something <laughs> ever since something popular's come out and ever that everyone's loved. You've taken this stance hey, of like of disliking be, everything. To be a quiet fair. place, it's like hundred percent of rotten tomatoes. And Cade's like, nah, just not, not just not for me. That was the most predictable movie oh, in my life. Oh my god. But anyway, look, look, we're here, we're here to, we're yeah, talk, look, we're here to talk about Infinity War, Troy. And look, I'm, I'm pretty split on it at the moment. I mean, I haven't been influenced by any other opinions or anything like that. Um, yeah, the movie DC was paid t- you off. Hey? DC has paid yeah, you off. Yeah, the, the checks come through. Yeah. Uh, it's I'm cleared. cashing that. Yeah, yep. it's cleared. Uh, and look, I don't know. I felt like it, even though this might have been the first Marvel movie where the stakes actually mattered, I still feel like they don't. Oh. You feel it like literally there's more ended you're with see. the stakes mattering. Like the stakes. <laughs> half of everything no. is but you gone. But do you think it's not like real? Yeah. 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 How many the stakes can you get, man? Like. Well, look, we're, we're going to wait and see because the stakes don't matter because this is a part one. Right. Yeah. Look, I understand. I fully understand that uh, there is every potential that the whole thing could be reversed. Absolutely. Right? But you don't know that, and no, I don't know I don't. that. So basing it in the context of the movie as it stands, how do you feel? Not uh, about what is to come yeah, for no, the no, future. Yeah, no, no, still split. Okay, still split. Where's? How do I leave? <laughs> Where do I? How do I get out? Of here? Okay, Amy, let's go over to you. Um, I hate cliffhangers. Yeah. I always have hated cliffhangers. Cliffhanger is an amazing movie. That is a great movie. I've so not that's seen it alone. purely because of the name. <laughs> that's it. I just can't do it. I can't do it. Um, so I'm going to say I enjoy the movie. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a hit for me. I'm just and endlessly frustrated in things that leave on a cliffhanger. And I'm how long is it going to take exactly. till we get the next well, one? Well, I was thinking that. What's the next movie? Is it Ant Man? Ant. Oh, well, fu- uh, <laughs> that tells me Where nothing. The stakes <laughs> always matter. Yeah. Well, well, see, I think that's part of what they did. They kept Ant Man and all that out of it, so that way, when we do get to see the Ant Man movie and that, we're not going to be thinking about Infinity War because they'll be going completely different, away from everything that's actually just happened. See, but I would wonder then. Uh, like, I guess my only question for that would be. Are they going to then have Ant Man running as the same kind of around the same time, yeah, that's or the set only at a problem. certain time, and have no ramifications from the events of Infinity War? Because technically, you know, as far as the movies drop, it is V-Max after. Is oh, oh, hello! Oh, everyone, V-Max go. Is seating, V-Max apparently. is seating you guys. Get in there. This is what happens when you go live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you know, so I just. Uh, now about spoilers. Yeah, yeah people yeah, were yeah. sitting around us, so we were being a little bit tame. So I would, I, I would just question well, as to whether it's going to affect. Well, it that's what I'm thinking because a lot of Ant Man, I believe, will be set in the micro universe yep. where Arcade. Where the was Soulstone wrong. wasn't. I was <laughs> yeah. Holy sincerely wrong. You could wrong, not have been more wrong. Could anyone else have been no. more no, wrong? No. no. That was, it was there was no the way anyone was guessing that. I'm, I'm sure that place is even made up. You called it. You said this is what's going to happen and Gamora is going to die. Yeah. I called it. Did you? No. <laughs> oh, no one could have called that. However, however, I do want to say that on a previous episode of the podcast, and I mentioned this to Troy while we are in the movie, yep. that I did say that Lady Death was going to be Red Skull. That was pretty fucking close. Yeah, that was close. That was yep. close. You also did say that was Thanos happy. was going to fall in love with him. Uh, but, hey, we, we don't know. Part two is coming. Uh, That's not the only thing. 
be a bromance. It could be a bromance. It could, it could be a whole Stucky thing again, you know, well, the whole Steve and Bucky. Thanos did end up in Thailand somewhere, so Whoa. we don't know where he <laughs> is right now. <laughs> that was definitely Thailand. <laughs> yes. Yes. Smug little prick. Uh, so, so you're on the you're on the hit of me. I'm on the hit. I'm just I'm a little. Can I have a frustrated hit? You know, like a song that's pumping and you love it, but yeah. you hate it secretly. Yeah, it's kind of like when you're in the club. They're playing your yeah. favorite song, and then it turns into like an electronic yeah, like mix. a dubstep remix. That yeah. is exactly how I am. So, so that a hit. means you're you shit in it. Oh my god, I'm not shitting it. Okay. I am dead set sick of you guys ruining my <laughs> friggin' rating systems. <laughs> okay, Troy, I will say it's a hit then. <laughs> clean okay. and cut. Just keep it clean. Yeah. <laughs> That's Troy. all I want. Uh, obviously, for me, um, mm-hmm. it is a hit. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, there, like, that could be quite obvious mm-hmm. because... Um, you, you do love everything. I do love everything, except Rampage, that piece of shit. <laughs> um, so, but it is... Look, th- this, is one of the, this is one of these movies, and, and I think Shane kind of nailed it in the sense of... You know, the it's kind of like there are a lot of movies where people like uh, Thor Ragnarok is a perfect example where it kind of took this really comedic turn and people weren't really sure what the MCU was doing and all this sort of stuff. This kind of sets everything back right. Absolutely. I'll, it, g- I'll agree with you on yeah, that. And it kind of gives you this sense of like, holy shit, like this can be an adult thing. And I think the fact that we finally had like a big, big, big bad, like we've, we've had some good villains. We've had Loki, we've had Killmonger, Vulture. But mm-hmm. this is the biggest of the biggest, and he didn't, in my like, in my opinion, anyway, he didn't let it down. No, um, so no, he did not let down as being the big bad. He yeah. kept, and he was a big bad from the beginning of the movie yeah. to the end of the movie. Exactly, we didn't have a twist. We didn't have a where they were trying to change things around. Well, and what's what's unique about this villain is like you can almost side with him again, and like we, that's what a lot of the appeal was with Killmonger. That's right. Yeah, I just want to like say though that siding with Thanos is siding with genocide definitely. But <laughs> you know what you say that but Trillions. we we do get Trillions one of, of <laughs> all, over the, all over the universe. Trillions. That's true, but we do get our hero some of our heroes even siding with it. Yeah, look, uh, yeah, uh, you do in Doctor Strange yeah. definitely. Um so I I get that and that's that's part of the, that's part of the appeal, and part of the appeal is like you know, I mean, this is this is genuinely a guy who who is so driven to, to do what he thinks is right that you know it comes to a point where he has to to sacrifice you know the one thing that he loves, and I, I think I thought that was a great scene. That yeah. was a yeah, good scene, great. definitely. Yep, uh, big big dirty Thanos tears just dropping big, down big his cheek. Tears. Big purple tears. And Zoe Saldana. That salty. was a great scene from her. Yeah, I just want to say that because I like was like one. That scene and the scene where Black Widow and the lady's name that Troy's going to help me pronounce. Which one? The one that starts with... Oh, oh, oh yeah. That one? Yeah. 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 That, was, that was my two favorite <laughs> The bitch. <laughs> ditch. The ditch. Oh, the ditch. <laughs> the ditch. I, I thought you said when they were fighting the bitch. Yeah, she well, has she a name. Was a bitch. Yeah, well, she was a bitch. <laughs> and she had horns. She, and she did she have horns. She was a horny bitch. Yeah, she was a horny record. bitch. Um, anyway, they were some good scenes. Off topic. Oh, man. Like, the, the action sequences in this movie were... Like absolutely off hey, its chops. Hey, it's not. A, it's not a full review, mate. You can just save those. Oh, but look, I'm just saying. This is like my instant reaction. All right, we're going to move on to. All right, I'm going to pass it over to Garrett, uh, who's going to give his hit, shit or split. Uh, better be hit. <laughs> look, I think I'm going to follow in K steps. Ah, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> <gonna do that. laughs> Troy was ready, ready to, had us. Troy was ready to oh, flip you know, the it's table. A hit. But anyway, um, no, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Um, I, I thought the best thing, though, was Thanos has, um, actually had a lot of like backstory. He had a lot of character development mm. during this whole movie, which is something we don't usually see from a lot of Marvel films. Yeah. Um, so it was just the fact that, yeah, as you guys were saying, like you could definitely sort of side with him. I am pointing at you, Cade, right now, because <laughs> I, I definitely understand what you're saying there, mate. But Hitler, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's right. So it's, it's no one was saying it, so I'm glad yeah, you anyway. said it. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on the podcast here, but anyway. I mean, um, totally you just did. I'm totally allowed yeah. to say that. Okay, but I, I thought it was absolutely great. Um, and, yeah, and, yeah, I mean, like, the the last part of the, like, the cut scene at the end, you know, like, again, doesn't have much time with the movie, but yet we can still, you know, have a bit more of the story and a bit more of a holistic sort of... Like, you can you feel know, the ramifications yeah, yeah, for the yeah, rest definitely. of the actual Earth yeah. rather than just the heroes themselves. Yeah, for mm. sure. Yeah, yeah, no. So it was... Um, no, honestly, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a hit. Um, I definitely yep. think everyone should go out and see it and, and get pumped for it. I was so pumped. I was listening to the... Um, I was listening to the Infinity, uh, you know, playlist that they have on Spotify on the oh. way over here, which was awesome. So 
driving the car. Extra pumps. Eat my shit. But anyway, yeah, no, I really loved it. Really enjoyed it. So yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for getting me out of here. So yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. um, Thanks for that. (laughs) (laughs) I have a question though. What was Doctor Strange talking about? Where he's like, you know, how Tony Stark said, "Oh, is there any way we win?" He's like, "One." Yeah, because he's basically saying the only way we win is to let Thanos win. Ah, because if that's not that, winning. Well, see, if, if they tried to stop him with the time stone and it didn't work or they destroyed the time stone or whatever, then it's gone. Whereas I think by Strange's idea is if if Thanos has a time stone, we can get it back, something can happen, and we may be able to turn this back or change it around. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, thank you. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, look, um, I'm going to... I'm going to say that this is Doctor Strange's plan from the start because yeah. he says there's one way to win and I guess the one way to do it is to give it all to him. Yeah. Now, he did say what, there was like 14 million different outcomes that, that happened. Yeah. And obviously, I think this is the one that, that's going to work. So Yeah. He obviously had a plan or something because there's no way he would have just hit it away differently. In the in the amulet that it was there, it was protected. He took it out. So yep. there's obviously got a plan. He didn't say that this was the sequence where they fighting him then that was going to work. You yeah, know, like, yeah and that's exactly. The thing as well, you know? And yeah. this all comes back to me saying why the stakes weren't always like super high. But really it's comic. Like even, exactly. even at the very, very beginning when Th- Loki dies, I instantly just went, well, he's not dead because it's yeah, a comic book exactly. movie and stuff. But that's going to be in everything. There's well, never going to yeah. be Well, see, here's the, here's the thing that I, like, here's... I would be okay with them reversing the effects of, say, you know, Thanos snapping his fingers yes. and half of the population dying. I would not be okay if the people that died in the lead up to that also got resurrected. That's, I, I reckon that would so be the better Loki, way to keep that running. Gamora. Yeah. So, like, Loki, Heimdall, Gamora, Heimdall. Vision. Um, Vision. Vision. Yeah. So, so, those people, like, they have to be sacrifices for this. So the rest I get, like if it does end up in Avengers 4 and and they do turn back the clock or whatever happens, as long as they don't turn it back far enough that nothing changed, that there weren't any stakes yeah. at all, like I will be okay with that. Yeah, we are talking about Disney here. Yeah, but that was, that was not a Disney movie. No, no. And I like the whole time I was thinking, most of the time I get questioned, oh, is this good to take my kids to? Normally I would say yes until that ending. Yeah. That ending just makes you go probably don't want to make a kid watch that and then sit there going, what just happened and why? Yeah. Why is my 10-year-old asking me all these difficult questions? I can't answer. <laughs> Mummy, what's a Thanos? <laughs> and should what? I be worried? Yeah. Is it okay to side with him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel Ma- like he brings up a lot of good points, yeah. Mum. <laughs> Mummy, yeah. is genocide okay? <laughs> no debate team for you, Susie. <laughs> I get, that would be a really terrible debate to have now, yeah. wouldn't it? Oh. Yeah. God. <laughs> something, <laughs> something else I really liked about this one particular, and we were talking about stakes and stuff, was the fact that a lot of the heroes felt like they were actually giving their all. Like yeah. Thor there, he felt like he was letting all his power out. Uh, Scarlet Witch, but there was a few that didn't, but most of them actually felt like they really were yeah. not holding back. There was no sort of, oh, they're pretending or holding yeah. back their punches or anything. I, like Civil War. Mm. Like yeah. all of Civil oh War. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> I... Age of Ultron as well. Oh, every yeah, that too, nearly ninety percent of Marvel movies. Let's be honest here. Yeah. But look, I am a hundred percent back on Team Thor. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching Thor just literally mo like he yeah. just, it, See, that's, that's everything my he Thor. did, even from the beginning, like where he's he's dead floating around space. They just bring him in. He just wakes up and goes, "Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Let's go, keep going." Yeah. And holding the thing open, like everything yeah. he did through that whole movie. Look, I guess there were a lot of people that detracted from Thor Ragnarok for the excessive use of humor, um, and I think they kind of did it very well in the sense of it was still funny but you kind of got a sense that you know like it was still serious at the same time i guess so they still had like there was there was drama and there was this that and the other but there were still one liners that were funny but it wasn't necessarily so over the top that it was kind of Thor Ragnarok, Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. Volume Two style. I, I was I was a bit concerned with things like the Guardians of the Galaxy and not having the gun as the director and thinking, yeah. are these characters going to change? But it literally was. When they were on screen, you felt like it was a Guardians movie. When yeah. it switched over, you felt like you were changing around those movies. Yeah, and they and they did it in a way that like you could still follow through. You know, what I mean, it wasn't just disjo- it wasn't disjointed or anything like that. Like it was just. Yep. Okay. What's happening on this area? What's happening in this area? What's happening in this area? You know, and you're still managing to continue on, um, continue and you know, make sure that, oh yeah, the characters are still doing, 
you know, like what they're doing, you know? Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, all right, let's quickly just go around. Uh, I just want everyone's favorite moments, and then we'll wrap it up, and we'll have our proper full review uh, for Infinity War next week to give everybody some time to go out there and see it. Uh, Shane, what do you got? I reckon I've got to say Thor. Thor, yeah. when, he, when he gets the axe and he comes through there and he just starts mowing down people, to yep. me, just watching that lightning shooting around, the axe flying around, and him just wandering through just everybody. Just being a boss. Yeah, yeah. 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 To me, that was just sweet. Yeah, look, I'm not going to lie. I probably got two erections in that scene. <laughs> yeah. um, From both your penises. Yeah, I lightning <laughs> rotted up <laughs> big time. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I agree with Shane. That that scene where he just um, kind of comes into, and I'm saying, Bunny Coit saves the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I loved it. Amy? Um, I'm. I love that scene a lot, but I think I'll pick a different one just to spice things up. Um, the scene where Vision and Scarlet Witch are sort of cornered in the subway oh, or whatever, yeah. and then Cap appears behind the train. I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Is that a little too Amy convenient? Had an erection. I did have an erection. No, it's not convenient. Shut your face. No, but well, they, they did. They did mention that they were that they were following them. That they yeah, were they, an eye they did. They did follow that. They were following Scarlet Witch. They were actually wondering where she was, and that's they want to know where she was. I going. would like to hear the rest of the team's thoughts on Scarlet Witch going out with a robot. I'm, I'm cool uh, with I it. I mean, not yeah. us. I want to know oh. the the other there Avengers. There are the rest oh, of the yeah. Avengers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Troy's like, I'm part of the team. I'm cool. Yeah, with yeah it. I'm, a, I'm an Avenger. Damn it. Yeah, uh, I could. I'm trying to remember which uh, proposition it was in Futurama for uh, for the <laughs> robots and loving yeah, the humans. humans. Was it prop, eight, prop infinity. <laughs> yeah, it's a proposition infinity. So, yeah, yeah, it's okay. We're all for it. Okay, yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> uh, is it me? Yeah. Is, yep. is it up to me? Uh, I guess, uh, super quick, uh, mine would be either the... Watching Roll Elf about 18 <laughs> different scenes. <laughs> no, 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 I got, I got two. Three. Shut up. No, I've you said two. one scene. One scene, uh, Troy. All right. Uh, but I have one dramatic one, one like Pick action Pick Let's one. go. You only get one. What was your okay, favourite? Okay, all right. Well, if we're talking about what I what I thought had the most impact would be the scene between Gamora and uh, Thanos. Mm. Yeah, good call. Uh, yeah, yeah. For the, Very um, good scene. For the, for the soul gem. And a Great pivotal scene, scene in the and movie. And a pivotal absolutely. scene, absolutely. Game changer, they say. Um, I would probably say my favourite scene was actually seeing Red Skull as death. Yeah. I, I thought that was so cool. Like, I yep. just went like... Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, Hugo Weaving. Yeah, <laughs> I really hope it was him. I, I don't know oh. if it was, but it would be it would be so much better. If no, it I was thought him. it looked like him. It looked like him. It but didn't sound like him. Though. It didn't sound like it. So it'd be interesting to see. But oh, it should be. Okay, I, I have one question. Yes, sure. With everybody that disappeared and stayed, is there anyone you would swap? Yeah, fuck, fuck off, Stark. <laughs> and oh. now, no, no, and it's not about. It's not about. Well, Peter only lasted as a Avenger for like an hour. No, yeah. I want him to come back. Yeah. See, so I. Essentially, what we've got left is the kind of like the, the original team. team. Now it's kind of the original team because we've got, we've got Thor there, we've got Cap, we've Black got Widow. Tony Stark, we've got Black Widow. So we've still got Hulk. Oh, so yeah. it's kind of the original Avengers are back, and that's cool. But I would have liked to have seen a good mix. You know, a mix of kind of like the old school and the new school. So I would have liked to have seen um, because when you keep Cap and you keep um, and you keep Stark, they yeah. haven't had their reunion yet. Yeah, they haven't, but they're just going to keep butting heads. Yeah. yeah, I would have rather have seen Stark go Black Panther stay. As yeah, an I think that's a good one. I would have rather anyone go and Peter Parker stay. Anyone else? Captain America? Whoever? That broke my <laughs> heart. Peter stay. Poor Peter. He had the longest death scene I there know. too. <laughs> like, everyone else sort of just went. Oh no, I'm not. He he was fading. His head's still there. The body's gone. Yeah, he was like he was there enough to get the sweats yeah, happening. Yeah. Like he was Poor dying. I'm not feeling long. good. Yeah. All right. Well, that will do it for our uh, our immediate thoughts. What do you call them? What are those things called? Instant again? reactions. Instant reactions. Yeah. Uh, we will be back next week to have our full Infinity War review. Well, Troy, that's going to do it for another episode. How was that? I think the listeners are going to find that episode a bit interesting. You know, live show, a little bit of ambient noise. I'll be like, hey, you know what? Maybe you guys should do a couple more live shows. Yeah. Or maybe you guys should never do that again and just stick to doing what you do adequately, <laughs> which is a normal show <laughs> in a room and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was that was a hell of a lot of fun. I'm really glad we uh, we managed to actually get out there and do that. Uh, hopefully, we can tee things up with um, with Smithfield Event Cinemas again uh, to do another live show or something similar oh, look, uh, in the in the months to come. There's a I, lot of good stuff coming. I out. think we're going to build a fantastic movie relationship with them. 
Absolutely. Uh, next week will be our full review of Infinity War. We will have non-spoilers and spoilers as always. Uh, because, you know, hey, hey, for some reason, whatever's happened in your life, you might not have had a chance to get out there and see it yet. And I don't know how, <laughs> but you have managed to avoid spoilers. Look, and I dare say maybe, I'm just saying maybe, next week's episode may just only be our review. Yeah, because I think we got a lot of stuff to talk about. I think I mean, we got this, a lot of stuff. to This talk is about. ten years in the making, so yep. we got to like really break down everything that's kind of happened and what we think of like each of the things that may have happened in this movie. Yeah, so you know, similar to this week, unless there's some super huge, big, sexy news, uh, we, we yeah, we're just going to get into it. And and we're just going to give as much time as we can to breaking down Avengers: Infinity War because it, hey, it's been ten years in the making, like you said at the top of the show, and it deserves its time in the spotlight that's right and just for those people wandering out there we did not forget about the venom trailer it looks rad venom looks good so we're just, we're just gonna brush right over it i mean there's not much more that you really need to say yeah look i guess if i was gonna say anything if, we, if we're gonna talk about it for a sec okay uh, i guess the only thing that i would say is that it, it's you know they've done the right thing in the sense of you know giving us a teaser which gave us nothing um and then and then finally kind of just going there yeah take like, that take that like we fucking told you shit was happening all you had to do is just wait you didn't have to jump on the internet and get all angry and shit here is venom look at his goddamn tongue and stuff so yeah very pretty but it does look good i mean like am i super excited no i'm probably a seven out of t- six and a half out of ten. Seven. Six. Six. Yeah. Go six. A solid six out of ten. Yeah. Excited for it. But uh, I'm hoping uh, that it does a lot better yeah. than, what, than what I'm kind of expecting it to do. Fantastic. Yeah. Where can people find us, man? People can find us at Facebook, and that's Comic Confidential Podcast. Just simply search for that, and you can find the listener community on Facebook too, and that's really where you want to be. If you're on Facebook and you're in this community, you're not looking at anything else but the stuff that's going on in there. Trust me. Damn straight. It's the only reason I go on Facebook, Troy. Yeah, me too sometimes. People say, like, oh, do you have Facebook? I mean, oh, you mean Comic Confidential Place? <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's I have that. I also do it for birthdays. That's about it. Oh, right. Yeah. You see, I've got this handy feature where it just syncs to my calendar now. Oh, okay. So I just look at my calendar. I'm like, ah, oh, it's one a person's birthday. One of those fancy boys. Yeah, I'm a fancy boy. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, we also have an Instagram and Twitter. That is at Comic Con Pod. We and also have a website. We do have a website, Troy. If you want to head over there, that's ComicConPod.com. Past episodes, future episodes, and everything in between. We also have a Patreon. That's Patreon.com forward slash ComicConPod, where you can support the show for as little as a dollar a month. Now, there's a lot of stuff happening on Patreon. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it was like a random bug that just like flew right in my face. Like right in my mouth. It did. Yeah. And we're not going to cut that. <laughs> and we're keeping that in. I want the people to know what it, that I just ate a bug for them. That's I ate amazing. a bug for you guys. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. <laughs> I just got my venom tongue out. Just yeah. like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so what was I talking about? Oh, uh, Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff happening on Patreon um, in the coming uh, weeks and months. So jump onto the website, patreon.com forward slash comic con pod, and check out what the tiers are because there's a lot of cool stuff coming. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Weekly shows. Weekly bonus shows. I'm saying it out loud, Troy. Weekly bonus shows. Maybe bonus monthly shows for the higher level Patreon supporters. That's going to be a little bit extra. Yeah, it's going to be extra. It's going to be a brand new show. Um, completely separate from this one. Yep. But sort of also together. But not really. You know? It features us. Yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, yeah, so there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff happening on that. So check that out. Um, I guess that's it. Oh, one thing I do want to say is that we are, if I didn't say it at the top of the show, because I can't remember, it was a long time ago. We are at Supernova on the Gold Coast. This weekend. This weekend. Uh, and so far, it's been a whole bunch of weirdness. It has been. <laughs> I want to say fun, but it's been super weird. Uh, but we are hoping tomorrow that uh, we will get in there and we will get some fantastic content for you guys. And how we release that, we, we don't really know. We're trying our best. Yeah, it'll either be a like a, a like a full show, or it'll be like a midweek show, or it'll be something. something. Yeah, it might be. We'll a figure it supernova out. Supernova special or something. But uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that. That's coming. Yeah. In the meantime, that's it. Thanks for listening. As always, I am Troy, and I'm Cade, and this has been Comic Confidential. Cheers. Peace.
Nah, you guys thought there was nothing. Hey, hey. we got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you already stopped listening, didn't you? Silly. You Bunch gooses. of rookies. You gooses. Bunch of rookies, mate. Hey, but you know what? Take a look in the mirror. <laughs> Just look at yourself. <laughs> Just go, hey, the Comic Confidential boys love you. They do. We do. We do. Thank you. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Farewell. And, and good night. <laughs> this podcast then head over to comicconpod.com to check out the other incredible shows on our network you can also support us on patreon from as little as one dollar a month you'll get early access to all our shows plus secret supporter content that's not available to the public head over to patreon.com forward slash comic to find out more